Welcome to My View from the Woods. In today's video, we're going to transplant some tomato and pepper plants that I started in early February. Some of them are doing pretty good. Other ones are a little sickly and I want to give them a little boost. This is how I'm going to do it. First thing I do is make sure that I label them correctly. So I just put the name. These are going to be Tiny Tim Tomatoes. I started them on 2-8 and I'm transplanting today on 3-13. I put that on some tape so I can take it off on my salad cup. And then I'll fill the cup with the slats on the side or on the bottom. Where are they? Here we go. So the ones that have the slots cut in the bottom. Maybe you can see them better this way. Let me start that over again. The cup slotted on the, and I'll put the soil in the cup slotted on the bottom. I don't really label them because I generally keep them all together, so just on the outside is, is good. So the first tomatoes I'm going to do are Arctic Rose tomatoes. I did, I planted these on February 1st. I planted them, I was supposed to plant three seeds, but you can see I kind of doubled two of them up, so I have five plants in here. So I've taken my cups with the slots in the bottom and filled them with potting soil or seed starting mix. It's actually my, it's now it's a new mix, it's not my seed starting mix, it's my potting mix. I'll talk more about that in another uh, video. I've just sort of sort of compacted the bottom half and then put a little divot into it. What I'm going to do is take this spoon that I found at the dollar store the other day. It's nice and pointed. I really like it. It's going to dig these out well. I'm going to dig these tomato plants out of this cup. Lay them down on this cardboard. That way I can just put the soil into my compost bin and put the plants right into the new cups. So let's get started on that. So I'm just going to go around the edges where I can get the cup in, or the spoon in, dig it down under, because I don't know how big, big the roots are, and just sort of pry. And then once they're loose, sort of just dig around. So up here where you can see it better. And pull the plants out. Now I don't put this soil right back into here. I'm going to compost this in case there's any problems or any issues in it. That way I, I'm not spreading any diseases or funguses or anything that may be in it. I'll just restart it. So here's my root ball, my two plants. You can see that well. I'll put it in this hand. And now I just need to separate these two. Again, not ideal. I might cut these it really depends on how the root systems break apart especially since especially if you're new to the channel I'm planting these in an indoor garden so I don't need 30 tomato plants I'm gonna give the other ones away but instead of hurting a plant I might just want to sacrifice one so this one's a little bit weak compared to this one I'm probably gonna clip this one plant this clip this off in a few days and just let the one plant grow I think that's what I'll do. That way I'm not going to damage either of them. I can just cut the plant and have it live. So I'm just going to take this little root ball, put it into my divot in my cup, get it upright, and then push some of the soil around it so it's upright. Compact it a little bit. And then add a little bit more new soil and spread that around the plant. Tomatoes you can plant a little bit deeper around the stem. I try not to. Keep it as level as I can to where it was growing. 
and you can see I'll probably take this plant here and cut this one that I'm bending down off and leave left with this plant and see how it grows. So let me repeat that through the other plants and see how it goes. Make sure I put it in the right cup, Arctic Rose, and I put the date again, I put the date on it if you can see it. 2-1 is the plant date and 3-13 is the transplant date. And again, this is the salad cup. Later on, I'll be mixing up some fertilizer mix and I'll water gently from the top and then put water in the bottom cup, stick this cup in it, and the water will be absorbed through the medium and, to, and through those holes. So let me go through these other ones real quick. best, grow those up and give the other ones away. Now this soil, I'll just put my compost in, a lot of compost. So I'm going to go through and do the rest of these and then I'll get right back with you when I get all the transplants done. So here's what I ended up with. I ended up with uh, four plants of the Arctic Rose tomatoes and five of the jalapenos, and then I ended up with six, seven of the tiny, or I'm sorry, what are they? Tiny Tims. Yeah, the Tiny Tims. I'm gonna put a link below that shows you where I purchased these seeds. You wanna take a look at these varieties? I'm really excited about this Tiny Tim. I think that's gonna be a great little indoor plant. So I'm gonna put these on my plant rack, and then I'll take you for a tour of uh, how I do that and what else I got growing. I do have some more transplants to do, but I'm not doing today. I have to go to work. And it's going to be pretty miserable. There's about six or eight inches of new snow out there today, but such is life. But I'd rather work outdoors than indoors. So let's take you over to the plant stand. Okay, we're back to the plant table, plant shelf, plant something. I don't know what I want to call it. The planting area, I guess. Now that's planting area is the other room. So I guess this is the growing area on the shelves. So I got the plants all set. I top watered the plants today. I don't really have time to do a fertilization. It's a little bit of a process. I'm going to put that into a separate video and the reasons why I'm going through such a process instead of doing a simple fertilizer. Um, I think they're good reasons, but um, I'll share with those later. So let's take a look at the plants as I have them set up. And um, I'm going to talk about a couple of the problems that I think cause those transplants or cause those seedlings to be a little bit short and weak. So here's the transplants. I have them under just some regular LED lights. I'm going to lower the lights when I get done filming here. So these lights are from Home Depot. They're just uh, three foot LEDs. They seem to be doing pretty good with the plants I had because I had, again, the colors because of the lights they're under now. But I grew this lettuce salad mix under those lights and it grew well, as well as you can see them in the back, those green onions and a few little Swiss chard. I also have some endive and some basil that I'm going to put into today's breakfast. But the reason they're purple is because of the lights. They're called Unifun lights. I thought they would be great. Um, the reviews were good, but I think they stunted the tomatoes and the pepper plants. Um, that along with my seeding mix the first time, 
was a little dense. I since have added some perlite to it. And what I planted in today is called Royal Gold Basement Mix. It's a good planting mix. It was recommended to me. I'm probably going to keep experimenting with planting mixes. The reason I went with a mix instead of making my own is because I don't have the room to compost all the forest products that are in the potting soils I want to use. There's some basil and that there is some cilantro that I'm going to be putting into pots and then these are the ones I transplanted today. I only top watered them. Uh, back to the planting mixes. I don't have the room to compost all the forest materials that are in the soils so I had to go with again a soilless mix. I went with a coconut core base um, but I think it's worked pretty good and the proof is in the pudding because here are some plants. Let me focus. These plants are only 15 or 16 days old and they were planted in that royal gold and I think the other thing is this light. I'll step back. These lights are the bulbs that just go into uh, uh, regular outlets. Um, they seem to work really well. And you can see they're doing a great job on the microgreens. Here's some I just planted two days ago. Here's a bunch of basil. Here's some cilantro. Let me turn the lights off see if that helps with the color. They do have a little bit of color. Oh, I guess it just gets too dark. But I guess you can see the true color a little bit, a little bit more. Again, I'll shut this light off. It's going to get dark. but. You can see the real, they're nice and green, the microgreens especially, and then the tomato plants and peppers and cilantro. So I think it's a combination of light and the mix. So hopefully I got that straightened around. Again, here's the ones I did today. I think they're going to grow a lot better under these lights than they are going to under these Unifun lights. So. I don't know if I should put these on eBay, I don't know how I feel about that, whether I should just like cut my losses and have them as backups or try them on something else. Probably that's what I'll do. I don't want to give any sell a light to someone that I don't think works well. Um, so that's my video today. Got some transplants. The next time I'll go over my fertilizer routine and why. I'm not going to recommend the fertilizer that I'm going to do to anyone. It's sort of complex, so, um, but there's reasons why and I'll explain them and um, I'll find a simpler method for everyone else. So I'm gonna leave you on a note. It's gonna take a while for the camera to focus, but you can just see what it's like to live in Central New York in March. my view of the woods for today and uh, hope to see you in the next video please like and comment I love comments leave me some comments what you think um, if you what you what your experiences are I, I really like the comments and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and follow my journey have a great day